Ingige highlights uh, the things that Buhari has done for the Southeast, says the president does not hate Igbos. Right? Minister of Labor and Employment Chris Ingige has berated those orchestrating the propaganda that President Buhari hates Indigo. He also highlighted some of the projects that the president has done for the Southeast region. He stressed that the Oweri Aba and Oweri Umuhaya roads construction are ongoing and the international highway from Enugu to Abakaliki to Cameroon, where the stretch from Enugu to Abakaliki is complicated, is completed while the stretch from Abakaliki to Cameroon is ongoing. He stressed that before now Enugu Airport used to be the worst airport in Nigeria. He said that Indigo had has had three aviation ministers, Fidelia Injeze, Stella Odua, and Osita Chidoka. But none of them did anything. He said when President Buhari came into office, he pumped 10 billion naira to Enugu Airport. <coughs> okay. And that the president does not hate Indigo. He also spoke about the second Niger Bridge and said that it is the biggest of them all. He said that President Buhari took the second Niger Bridge from the from a private public partnership project that was supposed to be collecting tolls from the bridge uh, when completed. He wanted he said that foreign loan okay, he said that foreign loans companies, financiers were relieved of doing what they wanted to do. Uh, that would have made them stay there forever. He said the second Niger Bridge is one of the five legacy projects that has been done across the country. The former Anambra State Governor stressed in the last six years that President Buhari has shown friendship to Indigo and said that um, under President Buhari's government, the Southeast has gotten a fair share of what is due to the region, especially in terms of infrastructural development. Speaking about the issue of appointments under the administration, he said that those who have been criticizing President Buhari of being biased in appointments should stop such propaganda and said that those people do not know how things are being run in the government. He said that Igbo people have the opportunity to occupy key positions in the government. Um, or oh, they've had actually the opportunity to occupy key positions in the government in the past. He said that some people said that Igbos have not been honored with the chief of army staff, inspector general of police and secretary to the govern government on federation under his administration and said that we should not forget that Igbos have occupied these positions in the past. Um, all right. I mean, I, I don't really know what to say to this because I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about this man, but something just tells me that this man is changing his tune, as in speaking with both sides of his mouth. Because I can recall that there have been times where he supported Igbos. It does not mean that you know because you support one thing doesn't mean that you don't have to be objective and you know actually say things for what they are. Uh, but first of all, let's even start. I think this whole appointment thing. It is true. It's not even a thing of, okay, fine. It's like, a, just imagine like you have an elite group, the 1% of the 1% of the northerners, and they will keep or gatekeep um, their, their resources, well, their resources around themselves and will not let anyone in, which can be said for a lot of groups that are the 1% of the 1%. And what he's doing, he should do them anyway. He doesn't have to like Igbos. He's the president and if there's a problem or whatever and if he's doing infrastructural things, he should do that. He must do that. It doesn't matter if he likes the boys or not. He must do those things and him doing those things should not be a testament to how much he likes the region. He should do it anyway if there's a need to. That is it. Because again, he used, using, you using that as an example saying that you know, he's invested you know, for the infrastructural development of the Southeast. Um, so technically, you're basically saying that if he did not love the egos he wouldn't do that which further highlights that there is some sort of bias anyway in terms of how he treats you know um the tribes i don't understand and again it's like saying that nigerians should not criticize are you are you in the same country that we're in because i'm not understanding this infrastructural thing is nothing is uh, he, he should do this anyway this infrastructural things should be across the whole country why not why not why not so again this i it's it's just a poor argument it really is a poor argument um 
and he doesn't hate Inigo. But the way he reacts, who gave a shoot at sight order for Igbos early this year? And then his IGP that he appointed, not even a month getting into office, also gave a shoot at sight for unknown gunmen, which technically has been an excuse for the for the security forces of Nigeria to mislabel, you know you know um youth in the southeast and kill them off and say oh they're part of you know ipob but then do not have sufficient proof to suggest that they are part of them when um what's it called when uh when what's his name the basically a politician a northern politician died in southeastern in uh, in, in a state in the southeast of, of nigeria and within a few hours the perpetrators were found and then they done investigation they gave their full names, gave, gave everything. And then what happened? They're dead. No confirmation of these people, nothing. They're just gone. What does that show? Why is it that with Amotekun, they do, Amotekun does not get the same energy and the same vim that Buhari has? What does Buhari even mean with his statement by saying that the youth of now don't understand what he, I, I'm paraphrasing here, but with his twist that basically got you know were seen to be inciting violence and ethnic, you know ethnic clashes, basically saying children of now do not understand what we went through thirty months. Blah, blah, blah. Um, using language like we're gonna treat them in the language and um, we're gonna give them the shock of their lives, teach them in the language they understand. What does that insinuate? Because this was referring to the southeast, to the southeast, and it's like there's just so many examples. Should I keep going? The fact is, for him to have done all these infrastructural things, that is his duty. He should do them anyway. He, he must do them because he's president, and if need be, he must do them. I think if the real question, the real question, is who are the enablers in this? The Igbo governors because you can't tell me that the, the 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 funds to do all these projects will not be sent to them so we do we see the fruit of this of this you know of this labor do we though so again it's just a bit like how do i describe it it's like with racism when you're trying to prove that you're not racist and you get someone of a race for example when white people <laughs> as an example with let's say if a white person is being racist they say oh but i have a black friend it's basically the same thing. The northern using eagles for themselves to go against each other, first of all, but then use them as you know justification for the fact, oh, we put them in these positions and you know this shows that we, we like them. Um excuse me. You said because again, you can't use the really use the argument of nepotism because again, to the average northerner, they're not living better lives anyway. So again, where's the bias here? Honestly, this is just a whole load of I don't know, jargon, to sort of incite or trigger, you know, one's emotions. It won't work. But what you think about this in the comments section below? Don't forget to like and subscribe.